think steak, I think of this man, my granddaddy. But I also know that this lady, my mom, will be at the table as well. I've tried to please both parties by cooking up a lean, juicy steak and pairing it with a boldly flavored salad. Let's go inside and give it a whirl. I'm a girl that's not willing to give up her red meat. So I have this beautiful piece of sirloin here that will be pan roasting later. But first, I'm gonna make my romesco sauce in two steps. First things first, we have our roasted peppers. Now, I'm a bit of a purist, so I decided to roast my own. However, if you're really not into that, feel free to buy a jar of pimentos. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to julienne this. All right, now, everything into the bowl. Now, tomatoes are just now getting into season, so this is a perfect thing to make for spring. So I'm gonna take two, about that size. One tablespoon olive oil, one tablespoon red wine vinegar, and the star ingredient of this is going to be your ancho chili powder. So I'm gonna use one half teaspoon of ancho chili powder, and you're really gonna love this very unique flavor. We just wanna make sure to mix up all of that gorgeous ancho chili powder. Now, on to my favorite part of the salad. We're grilling the bread with the hazelnuts and the almonds. One tablespoon of hazelnuts and two tablespoons of unblanched almonds. Sometimes when I have guests over and I'm drinking wine, I kind of make it a dance. <laughs> One tablespoon of olive oil in our small nonstick skillet. Toss in our cubed whole wheat baguette, our crushed nuts, one clove of garlic, minced, and a sprinkling of uh, kosher salt and freshly ground pepper. We'll let this hang out for a little bit. Our bread is gorgeous and brown, so are the toasted nuts, and as you can see, all of the oil has been absorbed. That means time to put it in the bowl, toss with the parsley, and move on to our sirloin. Both sides, nice coating of kosher salt and pepper, don't be afraid with the salt. Let's get this girl started, nice and high. All right, now we're gonna add one tablespoon olive oil. Let's set this sucker down. Let it rest from one side for approximately four minutes, and then you flip it. This is how you get that lovely char. Do not be anxious, go pour yourself a glass of wine. Now, as you recall from our last episode with Kino, um, it's very important not to set your cutting board on fire. Ooh. Cut. Four minutes, time to flip. Look at that char, gorgeous, almost just like a grill. Now, last rule for home cooks and steak, let it rest. Take it off the skillet, put it on a cutting board, and let it rest for at least 10 minutes. We're finally ready. Our steak is rested, we've sliced it, it's gorgeous and rare. We're gonna pour the tomato mixture into our bread and nuts. Now let's put our masterpiece together. Plate up a lovely portion of our bread and tomatoes and now our gorgeous sliced steak. Who wouldn't want that for dinner? I think everyone's happy. My grandfather, my mother, and all of my friends. <laughs>